guys, welcome back to Bacon's Base Place. I'm Aaron Bacon. If it's your first time to my channel, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button because we're doing the second half of our 100 basic slap bass patterns, also known as the 50 basic slap bass patterns part two. Today we are doing pattern number 73, if I'm not mistaken, and we're doing open pop hammer slap. Okay, open pop hammer slap. Open pop hammer slap. So, what I want to do is essentially a third inversion shape. Now, for those of you who aren't into your inversions yet, a third inversion just means that we are starting on the third of the note, okay? Or the, the third, the seventh, the third chord tone of the note. So the seventh interval of the note, right? That means in our C major scale, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, right? Plus our octave. So seventh is going to be that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven note, because I'm going to start on this dominant scale C7 and I'm gonna go I'm, I'm not counting the open okay because technically the third inversion would mean that this note was on the bottom right and it's not because the open notes on the bottom so I guess it's technically not but I'm just thinking of the fretted notes and to me it sort of looks third inversion y because I'm starting on the on the seventh okay so maybe it's not the most truest third inversion um so we're just gonna go up the chords okay Okay, so we're going to hit open A or D string for me, and then I'm going to pop the 7th of a C7, okay? So that means it's on the 3rd fret of the G string. It's a B flat. And then I'm going to hammer on with my pinky to the, the C, the octave, and then with my ring finger, I'm going to slap the 5th fret of the D string, the G, which is the 5th of the C7 chord. So, we're going open, slap the 7, hammer the octave, slap the 5th um, on a C minor, then now, or C7, now we have D minor, hitting those same intervals, 7, octave, 5. Now we have uh, Locrian, 7, octave, flat, 5. So today's a short but sweet one. Let me know, let me know if you guys actually enjoy these shorter lessons. That one was very straightforward. You can go back and follow the video as many times as you need to find the chords if you're not already super familiar with it, okay? So make sure you're practicing this stuff with a metronome every now and then. I mean, more metronome practices the better, but I can't say always do it because I'm not always doing it on here. You know, you, you guys see me, I like to fluctuate. <laughs> but metronome important is, is practice is very important nonetheless. So. Let me know if you guys enjoy these shorter videos, and I'll make more of them. Let me know if you don't, and I'll make stick to the longer format. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Bacon. See you next time.